I'm at Bali National Golf Club driving range and we've been messaged by John who is playing off 18 and wants to get down to six. And John has a problem with his backswing plane where he gets it very laid off and it's got to the stage where it's affecting his shot making so much that he really feels like if he can't get this right, he wants to give up playing the game. And that would be a real shame, John. We, we would never want to see that. But uh, the game can get like that when you're a little confused about how to do certain things in the game. And one of the things about the game for growth purposes is to learn something and move on. But if you get stuck in a place where you can't seem to change that golf club's position and it's having an effect on the way you're hitting it, then we need to to look at some, uh, some more uh, interesting and creative ways of improving that. So John, what I've set up here is I've got a golf ball teed up in the middle of two clubs pointing in a direction down this driving range. And then what I've done is I, I got the golf club and I pointed at the ball and I angled that ball. So I've gone from the golf ball here, angled it slightly inside. And you can see the distance here. It's actually about seven inches, seven, eight inches this side. And the same on that side there. And we're going to, this routine is going to be very helpful for you if you go through this routine on a practice fairway or a driving range. And you can easily put clubs down like I have here. And it could be even on a rubber mat, it'll work just fine. Ball here, and then where these balls are here and here, they can be tees uh, or they can be coins on the, on the mat. Now, the objective here is to swing the golf club from in front of you to the side of you and point the tee, which I've, I've got here. I've stuck a tee in the end of the golf club. And what I want to do is have this tee pointing to that inside ball rather than over here. If I had a golf ball over here, for instance, opposite this one, but let's say the same distance on the opposite side, this would be called laid off. So if I swing back and I was to point the tee over there, the golf club would be laid down a lot like that. And John, I imagine that's what you're talking about. The golf club gets too much behind you, probably too early in your golf swing. So you might be rolling it off into here. And that could be for a number of reasons, but I get the impression you've had quite a few golf lessons and you've got quite frustrated because you don't seem to be get on top of this. So I, I'm gonna make an assumption that your grip is pretty good on the golf club. That is, you've got enough rotation of your target hand to the right on the handle and that your, your uh, right hand is sitting on top of the golf club like this. That we're not saying, seeing something where the target hand's too much on top of the golf club because that can have the effect of rolling the golf club in too quickly. So we want to see a little bit of rotation in a, as I look at it in a clockwise fashion to the side of the club to stop a bit of that. So the trick's going to be with this exercise, John, is to swing the golf club back along the shaft here and then let it naturally come back inside. But at the top of the backswing halfway back, this tee is going to point to that inside ball. Now what that does straight away is it gets the golf shaft to stand up a little bit more. And actually, interestingly enough, the golf club's in a lighter position here than it is here. When the mass is more over there, it's heavier. And because it's heavier, it tends to throw outwards more from here to here. And that can lead some people to shanks or shots that go a long way to the right. So swinging back, away from the golf ball, over the shaft, pointing it here, then striking the shot, swinging back down, striking the golf shot, letting it come through. And on the follow through side, to get the golf, the tee to point down to this ball again on this side. So that's going to be the exercise, John. So from front view, it'll look like this. The golf club's in front of me. It's going to swing to the side of me. And as it swings to the side of me and it, and it starts to switch ends, so the head end is going to be above my hands and the handle end is going to be below my hands. The T points to this ball. The shaft is standing up more. This is laid more on the plane rather than laid off the plane. And then we'll swing through and do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to make a nice easy swing. Uh, just swing through this shot and, uh, and use this exercise and see how we go with it. Stand to the side, swing it back and in and up, through. Now I've got really good contact on that. It was a really easy thing to do. Clip the ball off the tee, and you'll see when you, when you watch the video a few times, the shaft is standing up more, the tee is pointing down more this way, and that's what we're looking for here. Swing it through to the other side, 
And John, if you do this, if you work on this exercise, you get the golf club to be standing up more using this, this uh, exercise that I've shown you, you're going to get your handicap to move in the direction of where you want. We really appreciate you contacting us at Search for Scratch and I wish you the best of luck with it. And, and please send us some feedback through once you've done a bit of work with it on, and tell us how it's going. Well, there it is. We hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember to share any questions in the comments below and feel free to share this video with your golfing friends. We want to help you easily and effortlessly lower your handicap by four shots or more. So we want to invite you to join our Search for Scratch program, which we've designed to help you find out how good a golfer you can become if you are trained with the best coaching model, practice plan, and course management system, all whilst developing a champion golfer's mindset. For more information and to become another one of our success stories, visit searchforscratch.tv forward slash search for scratch program or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, commenting and sharing this video guys. We look forward to supporting your golf improvement in the Search for Scratch program.